First of all, I hope you had a fantastic Christmas day. Uh, it's Boxing Day, of course, now. So, um, yeah, it's time for the snack eating, isn't it? I love Boxing Day, just that just picking at things. I mean, Christmas Day, I do that anyway, but Boxing Day is just a day for just snacking for me. And I've got what well, Christmas this year, I'm not traveling anywhere. Usually, like, I tend to be going here, there, and everywhere. My missus came from, comes from Bournemouth, right? So, we tend to be going back and forth from there. So, it's nice this year. We're actually not doing any traveling. So, I'm playing after this, start grazing. Do you know what I mean? That's what's happening. Um, no, uh, it's, I, I do hope you've had a great Christmas. Um, look, we've got a busy uh, schedule coming up West Ham. There's some games coming thick and fast, starting with Arsenal, of course, in a couple of days' time. Uh, big, big game that, you know, it's more not so much really for us because I think the pressure's been slightly alleviated because of the Manchester United result and where we're sitting at the moment. It's not as if it's crucial to must win. Don't get me wrong, it'd be wonderful if we can. But I quite like the fact the pressure's off a little bit. I think it does help us. Uh, out and I hope that we can go there and, and cause a bit of an upset. You never know because let's be honest, there's a few reasons we want to be beating them uh, this season. Um, more more than usual, anyway. Uh, look, but I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about uh, a couple of things that um, I'm doing their rounds at the moment. A bit of news. So, XWH employee put out over a week ago that Leon are very much interested in side Ben Rama. Um, so it seems like the West Ham are starting to shape up the sales now for January because we want to do some business. We know for a fact they're after a striker. The club do want a striker. I know that uh, David Moyes has kind of publicly come out and said that isn't the case, but I believe that isn't true. I think West Ham are in the market for a new front man. And they're after a couple of other players as well. So West Ham, as we know, though, have got to sell to buy, in a sense. We've got to get our budget up because we've got to be careful. We've got to be very careful. We do not want to do an Everton, as we've been told, by the top source. I think you know what I'm talking about. We can't say the name. I never know why. I never know why. Don't ask me why. I, I have, you know, anyway, can't say the name. But the top source of the club has said that um, we don't want to do an Everton. They've got to be very careful. So it looks like West Ham are going to start shaping up some player sales. Now, two players that they're talking about at the moment, which I'm going to talk about in this video here, is Saeed Ben Rama and Max Corne. First one is Ben Rama, as I've just said. Uh, so it looks like Leon are very keen on him. Um, what, what's our feelings on, all right, on Ben Rama? For me personally, I feel. I feel a bit sorry for the guy. I do. I, I don't think he's quite hit the, fulfilled what we were all hoping for. Um, but I, I, I still have a lot of, um, what's the word, like, respect for him. I, I do. I, I, I do like Ben Rama. I think he's he's done some really good things for us o over the time. I know he can be frustrating, but I always think of that penalty. I always think of that penalty in the final. You know, he, he stepped up and dealt with that really well. And I think there's a really good player in there. I really do. I think there's a really solid um winger and someone that can really create, score goals and, and be exciting. I think the problem is Ben Rahman, it always has been. He's just not consistent enough. He's just so up and down. And and let's be honest, it's it, although he has at times become sort of Moyes in, in the Moyes click, he's always slightly been out, hasn't he? He's always been sort of not quite in the trusted group of players of David Moyes. And it wouldn't surprise me if he is one of those players they do look to offload. And as I say, XWH employees confirm the club are considering that. I think of his age as well. Uh, Saudi Arabia is one uh, area that needs to be kept an eye on because, one, for his culture and two, his age, it kind of makes sense for him to go there. I mean, like, if I was him, I, 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 that's where I'd be quite keen on going. But apparently Leon are also, are also in for him um, and will be likely to make an offer possibly this January. So, look, it's one to watch. I'd like to know your thoughts on Ben Rama. Um, I'd, I'd actually be quite sad to see him go, but not in terms of like, I'll be gutted because I've missed him so much at West Ham, but more just like, I, I feel like he could have done more at West Ham. Do you know what I mean? I feel like there might be a little bit more for him to offer, but I do understand it. I do get the uh, the fact the club might want to move him on. But then at the same time, we've got to start thinking about who we're going to bring in then because he is an option that we've got and there isn't many. Um, another one we're looking at getting shifting, and it, it plays the same role, is Max Cornet. Um, who's just been a total disaster, let's be honest, in terms of his time at West Ham. Now, I'm not having to go at the player for that, but he's had this injury. He's been struggled to get in the team. It, it just seems like it's just not happening for Max Corner at West Ham. For whatever reason, it's just not happening, especially for a player that's done so well at Burnley. Um, but there are uh, clubs interested in um, Corne, and one is a big one, it's Everton. Um, kind of makes sense with um, Sean Dyche. Obviously, he played with him at Burnley, didn't he? So he managed him at Burnley. And... Uh, it, there's talk of that being a link up. They won't want to get back together. Uh, it's it does make sense. I, 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 another one like Ben Rama, but Ben Rama's a bit different because we've seen Ben Rama and we've seen how frustrating he can be at times, you know. And and you do think like he's and Ben Rama's had his chances. It's not as if he hasn't. And, I've, and Ben Rama has been a good player for us at times. He really has delivered. He scored some memorable goals and and stepped in and and when it's been needed. And I, I can't knock him. 
really. It's just the fact that he's just so inconsistent. That's his downfall, is that he plays well and he never seems to go on a decent run of form, does he? It's like you, have a, you see in some games, he's brilliant, and then all of a sudden he's dreadful, and it's very hard to to understand why that is the case with him. But Max Corne is one that I'm just genuinely so frustrated about because we've not seen him play. He's not really had a chance. And that's the one that's all... I, I'm, I, I always get this feeling that we're going to let uh, Corne go and you just feel like he's going to go and flourish somewhere. He'll go to Everton and all of a sudden he'll be one of their main players and doing really well. And you'll think, why didn't we give him a go? That's my gut feeling on him because he was very good at Burnley. He was a good player. Uh, it's, it's a real shame that things are not working out, but it's quite clear that uh, Max Cornet is not in the, the Moyes camp whatsoever. He's not favourite for him at all, is he? It, it, it seems like he's so reluctant to use him at all. So at the moment, it looks like West Ham are going to be busy in January. That does the way that is the way it's shaping up. We are, we are, as I say, aware that the club are eager to do some business. They do want to get a striker in. And a couple of other positions as well they want to look at. Left back being one as well, but that possibly be the summer. But Ben Rama and Cornet could well be on their way. And... For both of them, for different reasons, I think it's quite a shame, but I understand it as well. I, 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 we've seen recently, haven't we, in, um, in recent weeks, how weak our um, backup is at this club, that we've got a decent first team and the rest just aren't quite there. And it is causing us a problem. So the fact that West Ham want to go out and try and strengthen, I think it's a good thing. I'd like to know your thoughts, though, Ben Rama and uh, Corne, and what you think and whether you want to keep them, sell them, uh, and also their times at the club. I'd like to know because... Am I right? I mean, do you think I'm being a little bit too um, romanticising the whole situation, Ben Rahm? Because I do sometimes feel that we're losing a player there that's, you know, not fulfilled his destiny a little bit but, and he could do a bit more. But And also the fact if, if we do get a new manager come in, these are the sort of players that could suddenly flourish, you know what I mean? I've always got that lingering doubt. But at the same time, I do, we, you know, let's be honest, David Moyes isn't going anywhere at the moment. He's going to be here till at least the end of the season at the very least. So I, if he's not going to use these players, he don't trust them and, and their careers are kind of dipping and... And, and let's be honest, as the, let's think from the players' point of views, they must want to go, both of them. I, I mean, they cannot be happy at West Ham, Max Cornet especially. I mean, you're thinking, what have I done here? I've literally not even getting a kick and not getting a chance. So I do understand it for that reason. But of course, I'd like to know your thoughts as well. But look, we're going to have some more videos coming up. We've also got the Arsenal preview coming up tomorrow. Big, big game that'll be uh, for, for many reasons. And look, let's hope we can go and do that. And there's going to be some more news coming out. There's going to be tons of transfer news coming out because, of course, we're coming up to the transfer window. And West Ham are going to be busy by the sounds of it, which, let's be honest, is needed. We do need to strengthen. Let's just see how we get on. Come on, you minds.